looks like we're ready to go. I think we have one driver going into the pits. Everyone else getting underway. Oh, but one at the back there, 51 in trouble as the race gets underway. Oh, getting away just in time. Here we go into the first corner and our Bambino final is now underway. Good clean start. And the driver in form today really has been the 85, Daniel Miron Lorente. Laurent leaving the way from Harry Curry in their second place. Jensen Chalk with a good start, having looked down the inside of Will Green. Oh, but trouble further back here on Christmas Corner. Miron Lorente leading the way. Number 85 really has, as we say, been the informed driver today. And now this 11 minute plus one that final for the Bambinos looking to get underway. And get away strongly, still second place. So Harry Curry, Miron Lorente, a race leader. Harry Curry in second place. Jensen Chalk in third. Gibson Gorski. Sukmani Kira on the move up to sixth position, number 57. Teddy Porter, Freddie Denton. Starting to put the 25 of Austin Gibson under a bit of pressure. Kira will, great move there, cutting back on the exit of boot. Almost paid off there, but Gibson had the line covered. And Kira, oh, he tried so hard to pull that move off. Oh, it was 66 there. I think Teddy Porter just span out. Easily done on Christmas corner. It's an off-cambered corner. Once again, fighting back. Austin Gibson down the inside of Kira. Makes the move stick and goes back into fourth place. Oh, it's all gone wrong here for number 66, Teddy Porter. And Chalk looking strong now. Starts to put Harry Curry under some pressure. This off-cambered section at the top by Christmas. Down the hill they go towards Ashby. And he died down the inside, not quite close enough just yet. And 84, Harry Curry holds on to that second place. Some good racecraft here. These, of course, very young drivers, and already they know what they're doing in terms of getting the power down racecraft and making some good lines to try and go for the pass. Running well in the top 10 early on in the race, but Kira dropping out of contention. Meanwhile, here we go. This could be a three-way tussle for second place as we enter the final lap. Lorente cleared away at the front. Daniel Miron Lorente. Heading towards boot for the final time, closing in on victory. Still very close for this second place. And Miron Lorente heading towards the final few corners now as Chalk has a look down the inside. Oh, what a great move there on the penultimate corner of the race. Here they come down towards the final corner. And it's going to be a race win for Daniel Miron Lorente. He looks delighted with that one. What a great day for him. Jensen Chalk through to second place, almost at the line. Harry Curry third. Gibson fourth, and well, there's a, a very happy driver indeed. Daniel Miron Lorente. Captain Tonis also, another driver who could be in with a shout. Here they come round the final corner, and it's better this time. Good start, away we go. It appears that the uh, final has been shortened slightly to the nine minutes, possibly with the delays due to the wet weather. Here we go, up towards the top corner. So Philip still leads. And up to second place is the number 53 of Zach Green with a good start. And Joseph Katzenton is trying to get through as the leaders make their way through. So there we see Phillips leading the way, 26. We've got Green in second, the number 53. And Katzenton is just behind in third. Very close start to this race. They come charging around the final corner for the first time. Oh, down the inside goes Katzenton into second place. Very late move there from Joseph Katzentonis and takes the lead, or well, takes second place, I should say. And here we see once again Zach Green trying down the inside of Katzentonis, not close enough to go for the pass. At the top of the circuit now, there is the 23. Jack Mount, fastest lap of the race last time round, 53.15. Down the hill towards Ashby they go. And it's very close indeed amongst the top five or six drivers, not really much in it at all. Red Green coming under a lot of pressure from Jack Mowat. Around the final corner they go. Mowat is looking strong in these closing stages. Let's have a look at the time when they go through. Just over one minute remaining. So I think they'll get round before the clock goes down to zero. Pulls away slightly 26. Down the inside of 53. Green going for the pass on Katzantonis. Lovely neat move there under braking. 53 coming up the hill now. Katzantonis with... Oh, look at that down the inside. Katzantonis going down the inside of a repeat of what happened last time round. And Joseph Katzantonis up to second position now. This is all, of course, allowing Jesse Phillips to pull away slightly. Now, look out for the number 23 here in fourth place. Mowat, who has looked strong in the second part of the race, starting to get involved in this battle for second place. 
And Katz and Tonis holds on to that second place from Green. Mowat still looking strong. Here they come on the downhill run. Down towards Ashby. Charging down the inside. Oh, what a move there from Katz and Tonis. But he's going to leave himself open. And what a move there for number 23, Jack Mowat. That's what happens at Ashby. It's a tricky corner to get right. And so easy. You outbreak yourself. Katz and Tonis down the inside, but completely outbreaked himself. And Jack Mowat all too happy to sneak through and take that second place. It's going to be Jesse Phillips that takes the flag. 26. Round the final corner. And Jesse Phillips taking the chequered flag. It'll be the 23 of Jack Mowat in second place on that dramatic final move. And meanwhile, everyone else getting the instruction to look for the light. Red light is about to go on, and we are underway. Harrison Whittingham getting a good jump on the field. They're getting away very well indeed as they pile through the first corner. Here we go then for the restart of the Honda Cadet final. And it looks like Dalton Hayward has got the jump on the field. Look at Whittingham on the inside there, guarding that approach to Christmas corner. Bit of... Uh, Banging the wheels there through the corner, but everyone seemed to get through that top corner okay. Down we go towards Ashby. And let's hope this time it'll be clean. Dalton Hayward leads the way. And a great start there, though, off the grid from Harrison Whittaker. There he is, the number 69, into second place already. Down the inside into Chapman, tries for the move. And the rest of the field go charging through. It is still Dalton Hayward that leads the way, though. Drifting wide, looking for the exit here. Oh, but that allows number 86 down the inside there, Rocco Leon Shenton. Oh, but trouble here for number 33. That's on the exit of Boot. Hugh Roche just a bit further behind in ninth from Harrison Morrow. As the 32 of Bishop has a look down the inside of Whittingham and makes the move stick also in there as well. Joshua Bagenby tries to get through as well. As you say, Ashton Wiggins really has had a mixed day. But coming through strongly in the final, gets past the 72 of Jack Owen Drawbridge. Mason Thurlow dropping a couple of places, but it is still Dalton Hayward that leads the way. Fastest lap of the race, 53.40. And Bagembe down the inside of Whittingham moves into fifth place. The exit of this corner, very important indeed. Nice tidy exit and both drivers getting through. Oh, trouble here though. A bit further behind, there's Bagembe off the track. And I think has lost the engine as well. Two or three drivers caught up in that one as well. That's a real shuffle through the pack here. In second place, the battle of the second. And again, Shenton looking over his shoulder left and right. Knows that Bishop's there. Dalton Hayward looking strong at the front. And then this battle of the second. And again, Shenton guarding the inside. But, oh, look at Bishop. He's found a way through. Great move there into Christmas by Riley Bishop. Bound the gap out of nowhere. As we go down towards Ashby. Let's see if Shenton can fight back. Tries the inside line. Oh, and a block pass there. And here we see the action once again as oh, Jinkin this way, left and right. Riley Bishop trying to find a way through as they go through Christmas. I think realistically it's going to be close. Oh, look at this, though. This move into the first corner. Bishop having a look, and he's got to be brave to make a move into that first corner. There we see the 57 of Ashton Wiggins just ahead of Morrow. Last lap is now out for 68. Dalton Hayward still this battle for second place. Nudge wheels momentarily there. It's getting close here. Riley Bishop really putting the pressure on Shenton into the top corner. Is the 68 of Dalton Hayward a faultless race. Heading through boot for the final time. Down towards the final corner. And with all the action behind him, Dalton Hayward has had a relatively lonely race, you would say. But certainly well deserved. Punches the air as he crosses the line to win the Honda Cadet final. Oh, and it's a drag race for second place up to the line. And Shenton takes second from Bishop. Harrison Whittaker in fourth. Wiggins in fifth. Morrow, Hugh Roche in seventh with the number 70. Mini X30 to get underway. Aidan Hassan and Gabriel still neck and neck around the final corner. And it's a clean start. Away we go. So we are underway for the X30 mini final. And it looks like a good start there for the number 10 of Gabriel Stilp. Just behind is the number 14 of Jack Hobson. Down the inside goes Aidan Hassan into Christmas corner, but the move doesn't quite come off. And here we go for the Minimax drivers. And a good start there for Bobby Rossier, who's been the driver in form in that group. Oliver Kerr and Mac McFarker getting away well. Gabriel Stilp fastest lap of the race. It's Aidan Hassan in second place, 64. Hassan pulling away slightly from Jack Hobson, Ryan Eckberg, and Charlie Webb in fifth position. 
as the leading group make their way through Christmas Corner down towards the right-hander at Ashby. As 25 having a look down the inside there. Charlie Webb tries to make the move. Number 14, Jack Hobson running well. As we look further back now towards the Minimax. There's Oliver Smith, number 29. At the moment, though, it's all about number 10. Gabriel still at the front, although... Let's have a look at the second place, Aidan Hassan, 64, who is closing. Fastest lap of the race last time round, 47.43, and again fastest lap for Hassan, 47.3. Good breaking move there for the 25, Charlie Webb. Leo Brown down the inside of Charlie Webb, makes the position. Oh, and down the inside as well of Jack Hobson. So Leo Brown, good bit of driving there, makes up two positions. Very quick at the front of this race as you head down towards Ashby once again. And this is the moment where Hassan goes for the move and makes it stick. Lovely block pass there from Aidan Hassan, but again fighting back, still down the inside. Eckberg with a bit of a gap in third. Then we've got Leo Brown, Hobson, Webb, Keon Garrity, Henry Gregory in eighth place. Alfie Briggs as Hassan looks down on the inside towards Christmas Corner and makes the move. And just cutting further back momentarily here, we see the 29 just coming through out of Ashby. That's uh, Oliver Smith, Bobby Rossia still leading the Minimax group. But this is an incredibly close battle down the hill towards Ashby once again. Gabriel still with the fastest lap of the race down the inside into Christmas Corner. And a bit of a block pass move again makes that move. Stick prevents Hassan from repassing. Very aggressive guarding of the inside line, but he's overcompensated there. And that could allow Hassan through into the final corner. No, still fighting back through. Here we go into the final lap. This is going to be a very close race. They are allowing the other drivers to catch up here a bit, though. It's still Ryland Eckberg in third, guarding that inside line. Oh, and trouble here in third as we are going into uh, Ashby there. Racing incident there between Eckberg and Hobson. We look back at our leaders now as they head towards boot for the final time. And still, Gabriel still aggressive on the inside line, but round the outside goes Aiden Hassan. He saw that one coming, and Hassan will go round the final corner. And a great move there, right at the end, to take the win from Gabriel Still. And in that dramatic final lap, taking third place is the 25 of Charlie Webb. Bobby Rossier takes the chequered flag in the Minimax. Second for Oliver Smith. Third is Oliver Kerr with. And the final now for the Junior Max about to get underway. Drivers in position. Here they come around the final corner. And the Junior Max final is underway. It's a good start. Away we go. Down the inside into the first corner goes Finley Harrian. Has he held on? No, it's Kyle Dunford that takes the lead. Dunford guarding the inside line, but round the outside goes Harrian and takes the lead. Third place for Tommy Edmonds. Down the hill they go towards Ashby for the first time. And immediately, Finley Harrian guarding that inside line from Kyle Dunford. Getting to the front nice and early, but certainly Kyle Dunford and Tommy Edmonds well and truly with him. It's a very, very fast start to this race. Incredibly close. For Finley Harrian, 47.15 last time round marginally the fastest driver on the track not very much in between the top three on terms of pace but Finley Howden has got that very small gap at the front Spencer Braum in fourth Jack Davis Harrison Crook there we see the number 60 of Luke Ringham currently in ninth place just behind 77 of Jack Cooper Zane Khan also in there as well in 10th place Harry and carrying a lot of speed out of that final corner and another fastest lap 46.35 pulls away slightly from Tommy Edmonds in second Kyle Dunford in third and look at this going up into Christmas corner. Dunford alongside into the top corner. Oh, and his good defensive work there from Tommy Edmonds. Now, even though he can get alongside going to Christmas corner, it does favour the driver ahead sometimes. If they can get a good line through the corner, carrying another fastest lap of the race, 46.18 seconds. Fastest lap as we move into the last lap of the race. But here is the action for second place, Tommy Edmonds. Holding on to that second place. Finley Harrion round the final corner and will take the chequered flag. Finley Harrion is your winner in the Junior Max final. Tommy Edmonds in second, just ahead of Kyle Dunford. Spencer Braum in fourth. X30 Juniors make their way towards the final corner. Big group of drivers here. This will be a fast and frantic first lap. Round the final corner they go. And a good start. We get underway. Christian Brooks leads them through. 
charging through that first corner. Look at the pace as they make their way through and up to Christmas corner. Looks like Christian Brooks was the early leader. Although Lucas Alligan, I think, has taken the lead going through to Christmas. One or two drivers on the grass. Two drivers colliding there, 49 and 58. That's Ellis Bouchier, 58 and the 49. Both those drivers now back underway, and the race is under green flag conditions. And you can see just the pace into that first corner, how quickly they carry the pace through that first part of the lap. And Luke Watts all over the back here of Lucas Allingham, down into the right-hander as 84 into the pits. And that left-hander, Elligham, still leading. 99, your race leader. Watts is trying to find a way through. Macy Hitter picking up a mechanical flag warning. So that was the... Macy Hitter, I think, was the driver in trouble on the previous lap. Here we come up towards Christmas Corner once again. Elligham still leads almost identical lap times between these two drivers. It is a very closely fought final here as the number 19. That's the driver in trouble. Lorenzo Cordell and Jude Finney are very close indeed. There's the 82, Christian Brooks, now looks like has lost the position to Cordell. So Lorenzo Cordell, number 20, moves up a position. Thomas Mullet picking up a penalty a bit further down the field. Mullet currently in 11th place. Slow driver moving to one side to let the lead group through as the 2-3-8 Oliver Algieri down the inside of Lorenzo Cordell. Algieri, there he goes. Still keeping that pressure on their third and fourth. Here they go, Algieri and Cordell, number 20. Going through Ashby. Ellingham still leads through Chapman, heading towards Boot. And it's still as close as ever. Ellingham guarding the inside line. Watts tries the outside going into Christmas corner. Ellingham's going to cover the exit here and hold on to the lead. Watts has been sat on the rear of Ellingham for the entire race. Tries the outside into Christmas corner, but no, Ellingham's got the line covered. Covers that exit. Down we go towards Ashby. Ellingham guards the inside line. Can Watts go to square the turn off? Oh, they bang wheels. And this time Watts tries the outside going into boot, but Ellingham has got the line. Watts will square the turn here, tries to get on the inside, coming down the final corner. Here they come, down the straight for the final time, and it is going to be Lucas Ellingham that takes the chequered flag. Watts in second place. Oliver Algieri and Lorenzo Cordell closing right up on that final lap. We'll take third and fourth. Here they come down towards the grid. And almost slowing to a crawl here before they explode around the final corner and underway for the X30 senior final. It's a good start. And Harry Torpey leads them through. Vanden Matchell with a good start through the second corner. Samuel Hawthorne drops to third and immediately has to try and fight away Thomas Byrne, who tries the outside going into Christmas corner. Can he make move stick? No, he can't. Hawthorne holds on to that third place. First half lap has been clean. They all get through Christmas corner okay, that demanding section. Here they come through towards Boot for the first time. Hawthorne guarding the inside line, 28 there. Brandon Matchell trying to get through the inside and makes the move stick, but right on the exit there, Hawthorne repasses and back through into second place. This will all help Harry Torvey. Thomas Byrne goes down the inside of Brandon Matchell and makes the move stick this time. Samuel Hawthorne, incidentally, 15 in second place, setting the fastest lap of the races, diving down the inside there. Great move from the number 70 of Joshua Torpy. Six minutes plus one lap remaining. There's 28. Brandon Matchell from Nathan Herbert, 52. Standing in there as well. Great move there down the inside from Nathan Herbert to get through on the approach to the boot complex. Number 30, Anki Stenning. In this close battle on the edge of the top 10, making his way through as well. And is putting Harry Torpy under some real pressure. Look out for 73. Torpy down the hill towards Ashby. Hawthorne tries the inside. Down the inside goes Byrne on Torpy and makes the move stick. Thomas Byrne with a good move there into second place. It's Carly Atkins, incidentally, 25, just coming into your shot now, is the fastest driver on the track at this stage. Joshua Torpy, of course, leads the X30 Senior Championship as Atkins goes down the inside. Oh, and uh, makes the move stick. Almost saw Herbert going through there as well. Here's the rest of the top ten making their way through. Axel Laflamme, Lucas Romanek, Matthew Herbert, Anki Stenning. And now 25 Atkins down the inside. Great move there on Joshua Torpy from Carly Atkins. And now the battle for second. Roy Johnson, 18. 
really putting the 74 of Thomas Byrne under pressure. Samuel Hawthorne still leads this one. Johnson down the inside, and number 18, he makes that move stick up to second place. Down the hill we go towards Ashby, and we await the last lap board in this very close X30 senior final. Round the right hander they go. Guards the inside line. Here we come towards Boot for the final time. Johnson's got a good run out of the corner, as has Byrne. This is going to be close. Here comes Byrne, round the outside, sneaking through into second place. Will guard the inside and trying to get through past Hawthorne, but it's not going to be enough. Samuel Hawthorne takes the checkered flag in the X30 senior final. Thomas Byrne second there, just ahead of Roy Johnson. Tillotson T4 is coming through towards the final corner. Rolling start. The top two drivers. Really, oh, where's... Uh, we seem to have had trouble here for number 32, Malk West. The car's hitting trouble on the uh, formation lap. The race will go ahead, though. Yep, we're on the way. No sign of Sexton, who was uh, supposed to be second on the grid, but not seen going out for the uh, formation lap. There's the number five of Lawrence Newman in third place. Dan Blackledge, close behind in fourth. Blackledge has a look down the inside. Oh, and it didn't come off there. He just caught the, uh, caught the back end and goes onto the curb. And now, of course, he's got to try and get the, uh, get the power back underway again, of course, with the, with the four-stroke carts. It can be difficult sometimes if you lose the wheel, if you lose momentum like that, just to get them back underway. Malk West a bit. There's Malk West, actually. He's had a good comeback here. So West, who was cut adrift at the start, hit some trouble on the formation lap and was in last place, now in sixth. And here's the battle now with 32. Great drive here from Malk West round the outside of Dan Blackledge. Now moving into fourth position. Next driver in front is the number five of Lawrence Newman. Russia Jima crossing the line. Still oh, and trouble there. <laughs> well, Malk West, he's had an eventful race. Goes through and, oh, is he going to get back on the track? He wheels spinning on the grass, gets back underway. And that collision seems to... Oh, the cart just doesn't look right at the back there. Oh, well, here we go into the final corner. Lapping uh, Lee Pasco very shortly. There is the second place driver, Richard Kinlock, going up towards Christmas. Kinlock all on his own at the moment. And uh, certainly persevered this afternoon. Will be rewarded with the second place finish, should things stay as they are. Now, ooh, that's Newman hitting trouble there, I think, going through towards Boot. Let's have a look at Lawrence Newman there just a few moments ago, closing up on the number 16 of Kian Lee in fourth. Has dominated the heat races and really has put in a good performance here in the final to take the one lap board. Last lap now for Reese Sajima in this final race of the day. Here we see number five, Lawrence Newman now back into fourth position from Kian Lee. But now here is Reese Sajima number 13. Well, I think Nose has got the advantage at the front, taking it nice and easy through boot for the final time, staying out of trouble. And number 13, Reese Usajima. It's been a great afternoon for him, and victory in the final for Usajima. Crosses the line, checker flag goes out.